Omar's back to action that long last, hopefully this weekend, not just for the club, but for yourself as well. Do you want to start us off by telling, obviously, you were in isolation for a bit now, but you feeling match fit? Yeah, well, we'll find out when I cross that bridge. Um, I feel I feel fit as possible. Um, I feel like, you know, training's been intense, so it's been good. I feel like I'm um, training fit. We'll find out once the, once the game gets going. It's a different It's a different game when you're actually playing matches. Um, but nonetheless, raring to go, um, yeah, on Sunday. It's been a bit of a weird one, I imagine, with the no games, especially the, the New Year's Day one where everyone seemed to be ready to go in it and then called off at the last moment. What's, what's the feeling been around the training ground and, and how have you kind of overcome the fact that you've not had the games? Um, yeah, it's been, I guess it's been a bit frustrating, um, especially in the manner in which it's, it's happened, especially of late. Um, the New Year's Day game and it being called off on the day. Um, for someone like myself who's already missed two games and the boys played two games and we didn't get the results we wanted, you know, I'm just really eager to get back out there and contribute to us getting the results that we really, really need. So when games get called off and, you know, I think some teams have maybe used that to their advantage and injuries and so on and so forth. But the club, we try to be as honest as possible, try and get make ourselves available for every single game as possible. Um, which is a credit to the club. Um, just frustrating that knowing maybe other teams don't maybe want to be as honest and um, have games called off in the manner in which they have been. So, but yeah, it's been frustrating. But nonetheless, the boys are itching to get going again. And I think we've got to count our blessings as well because, you know, I've not been able to enjoy Christmas for so many years now, just conscious of like, oh my gosh, I've got a game. Or New Year's Day, oh my gosh, you know, I've got a, I've got a game. So it was... Not that I was prepared, not that New Year's I was able to go out or anything, but <laughs> but I was able to enjoy the Christmas period, which was lovely. So a bit of both, you know, a bit of like, you know, frustration of football, but at the same time, quite delighted that I was able to enjoy some time with the family. Mm. Well, like you say, the boys be itching to get going. It's, it's a good stage to do it on Sunday in the FA Cup. First of all, we'll start with Stoke, a team that's doing well in the championship and no, bad, no doubt be a really tough test. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they're one of those teams that you don't, really want because you know they're just like they because they've been doing well and they've maybe had a bit of a hiccup it's almost like they're itching for a game like this to get mm. going again um so yeah you kind of want a team that's maybe on really bad form not doing well or they're just unbelievably doing well in the champ to cause an upset it's like don't get me wrong it doesn't matter you rock up on a day the grass is still green still air in the ball so um so yeah hopefully we can apply ourselves and give a good account um, I have gone there before and we have won there before. Um, and there's no reason why with this squad of players, this young bunch of lads who are eager to prove a point, um, I'm sure it will be, you know, it'll be a good game. Mm. You were saying earlier, joking, that you actually have done it on a cold Tuesday night in Stoke. So if you've got that kind of confidence going into the game, then hopefully that experience of not just winning there, but also I believe there's the FA Cup you won there as well. So you have got the experience of doing it before. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would definitely bode well. Um, like with regards to knowing that we've done it, you know, everyone speaks about can you do it on a cold Tuesday night at Stoke? And yep, we've done it. And I feel like it's 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 something that will reassure me knowing that we're capable of doing it, even from 2-0 down at half time. Um, it's just about how we apply ourselves and I guess using my experience to translate that to the rest of the boys and um, to keep them calm in whatever the situation is. Um, so yeah, hopefully turn things around. And for yourself, finally, in terms of the FA Cup, is it one you've always had a lot of respect for growing up? Yeah, I, I've, I've appreciated the FA Cup, um, especially when I've come through non-league and just the thought of playing um, teams in the league. I think there's something special about this club and how it you know, engages with you know, almost every team um, to partake in it. Um, I do think there's something special about it. Um, so, yeah, and, and it's, uh, they call it the Cup of Dreams, is it? Is that what they call it? Something along the lines. You edit it and <laughs> it can be read. <laughs> but um, magic, magic of the cup. That's it. Magic of the cup. They say. So um, and they, I, I really do believe there's something special about the cup. The occasion. I think the fans. It builds an atmosphere. Um, it's a bit more noisier. Um, so yeah, I just think it's a good day out as well, all round for everyone, fans, players. Um, so yeah, I do. I do enjoy it. Um, more time because I've probably been an underdog majority of the games. Um, so yeah, it has it has. I've got fond memories of going and beating big teams, 
So hopefully we can continue that and go on to do pretty well in it.